Hello, I'm Artifax Mars, and this is a Piggy Award. Today, our Piggy Award go out, goes out to four scumbags in police custody in Chicago after they uh, took a mentally disabled guy and tied him up and tortured him on Facebook Live. So, their faces have been seen all over the place. Chicago investigators are questioning four African Americans after Facebook Live video shows a group of people torturing. Why do you call them people? They don't deserve to be called people. Now if they're going to do this. A white, mentally disabled man when somebody yelled, fuck Trump and fuck white people. Chicago police were made aware of the video Tuesday afternoon. A young African-American woman streamed the video live on Facebook showing at least four people holding young white man hostage. It's sickening. You know, it makes you wonder what would make individuals treat somebody like that. Police Supervisor Superintendent Eddie Johnson added, Uh, Chief, I don't know. They're worse than animals, and they they should be kept in a cage to protect society for the rest of their lives. Scum do... I think we need special zoos for scum like this. I, I really do. If they're going to do evil like this, they should be in a zoo, not in a prison. Throughout the video, the victim was repeatedly kicked and hit. His scalp was cut, and all while he was tied up with his mouth taped shut. At one point, the victim was held at knife point and told to curse President-elect Donald Trump. The group forces the victim to drink water from the toilet. Suspects can be heard saying that they want the video to go viral. Well, guess what? <laughs> You just into the any chance you have to ever go free. Detectives think the victim, who lives in a suburb and appears to be in his late teen, teens or early 20s, met some acquaintances in northwest suburban Steamwood, and they drove him to Chicago in a stolen vehicle. <sighs> Gee, said, I'm not going to try that name. The victim is then believed to have been held uh, hostage and tortured in an apartment in 3400 block of West Lexington on the west side, G said. On Tuesday afternoon, police officers spotted the victim walking on the street on the west side wearing shorts, G said, because... It's unusual to see a man in shorts and cold weather. Officers stopped to talk to the man and appeared disoriented and he was taken to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. Tax tests were performed at the hospital and determined if the victim was under the influence of anything. Police told, said the victim was classmate of one of the suspects. He was held hostage for at least 24 hours and as long as 48 hours. It's quite possible, quite a possibility this was kidnapping, and that's certainly one of the charges. A possibility will be seeking if it turns out to be that. But he's traumatized by the incident, and it's tough to communicate with him at this point. Community activist Andrew Holmes was made aware of the disturbing vehicle video, which he is calling a hate crime. You think? Although President like Donald Trump was mentioned, Chicago police do not believe crime was politically motivated. I don't care. Lock them up in a zoo. That's all they deserve. They're less than animals. I'll tell you what. Take the whole bunch, put one in a tiger cage, in a cage with a tiger, put one of them in a cage with a polar bear, put one of them in a cage with... I don't know, a rhino, you're getting the idea? Just put them in the cages with the animals and let nature take its course. 
I think it's just some stupidity just ranting about something that they may make a headline. I don't think, at this point, they've made anything concrete, pointless, in that direction, but we'll keep investigating and we'll let the facts guide us on how this concludes Superintendent Johnson's thoughts. So there you have it, your piggy award for today, for these four or five or however many vicious animals that did this. If you're up to me, you will be sitting in the cage. I would take you to the Chicago Zoo. I don't know if they, what they have there. I would put you in with the most dangerous animals there are and just let nature take its course. Screw it. I'm tired of this type of thing. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.